Unfortunately, there's a lot of unmet needs in testicular cancer, right from diagnosis to long-term survivorship. And, and certainly we know that uh, despite, you know, uh, inarguably excellent cure rates that some people are still left behind and we're, we're seeing aggressive cancers and, and people die of testicular cancer in Australia each year. Um, you know, I, I think there's certainly space to improve the uh, management of mental health issues around both diagnosis and follow-up. Uh, there's now yeah, a, f- a fair amount of evidence to demonstrate that distress and anxiety is really common in these individuals. In some um, studies, there's a higher suicide rate. And so I think we need to be better, again, at proactively identifying these issues and, and providing the supports that are needed. And they're going to be varied. Not everybody requires it. Uh, but talking about it a little bit like the prepare retrograde ejaculation study talking about these issues and offering the supports may just help to you know preemptively um i guess mitigate some of these problems beyond that i think that microRNA and other biomarkers that are sort of entering the fold are likely to be something that's revolutionizing our care in coming years. They're going to help us diagnose patients earlier they and particularly with patients uh, who have um you know, may have tumours that are inaccessible to biopsy, including intracranial uh, uh, germ cell tumours. Uh, I think additionally, microRNA is going to help us in surveillance and in, in the diagnosis of of, uh, of um, a- other active testicular cancers. So I'm, re- I'm really excited to see what will happen in this space over the coming years.